Hello everyone, welcome to the top trending stories here on yen.com.gh. I'm Charles Ayete. Our first trending story begins with Professor Opoku Onyuna, the Pentecost chairman for Ghana. He has spoken strictly against the British Prime Minister Theresa May following her statement expressing support for all African countries who are willing to decriminalize homosexuality in the country. Professor Onyuna has stated very clearly and emphatically that Ghana is not going to accept this very act. He calls it a very unusual act to Ghanaians and he is saying that government would have to step up. For him, all these issues related to the gay pressure on Ghana is linked to one thing, we are poor. And he thinks that government would have to put so many interventions in place to kickstart government Ghana Beyond Aid agenda. He believes this is going to silence all the Westerners who say that legalizing homosexuality and everything is going to be the leeway to Ghana's developmental agenda. So we shall be following this very situation very closely to give you updates, especially regarding reactions. Our second trending story is all about the General Overseer of Action Chapel International, Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams. He has issued a very stern warning to President Akufuado. He is saying that the president would have to be very careful in dealing with private businesses here in Ghana. He's saying you must be very careful to ensure that some people in your government do not collapse private businesses. Now, this very warning from Archbishop Duncan Williams comes on the front of various interventions by government against some specific private businessmen in the country regarding issues related to corruption. Well, we shall be following this very situation closely, not forgetting that very warning, or you could call it prophecy, by the Archbishop saying there could be an Arab Spring here in West Africa in the next five to ten years. Which countries were yet to find out? We shall be keeping an eye on this very prophecy to give you updates as and when it hits. Our last story is from the General Overseer of the International Central Gospel Church, Dr. Mentor Otabo. He has issued a very stern advice to young ladies across the country. He has made a very clear statement to young ladies and women who love to have sugar daddies by their sides. He's saying that, yes, you could have all the benefits from a sugar daddy, but you may reap the effects in the future. You will be miserable and very much you know, regretful of what you did whilst you were a young lady. So that's a piece of advice there by the General Vasi of the International Central Gospel Church, Dr. Mensa Otabo, who also happens to be one of the most influential men of God in Ghana today. So these have been the top trending stories here in Ghana. For more news, you log on to our website, yen.com.gh. I'm Charles Aite. Catch you later.